Everyone, it's Coach Johnson, Airtay Throws Nation. Another quick tip for you throwers and coaches. One of the core things that to understand about throwing is rhythm. It's one of the easily overlooked aspects of training young throwers. From a developmental age or developing young throwers, the core thing to be understanding is that whatever, every phase of what you teach, teaching the rhythm and the motion of the throw is a vital point of throws development. So if we're looking at things like either the discus, the discus has to be long, these motions are setting up the flow of the throw, okay? So in the shot, same sort of thing, whether it's the glide, we're going to be setting how we move the whole rhythm to each position, each point, every drill, every pillar in our system, the throwing chain reaction, we teach our six pillars and we teach a process called pillar connection and pillar connection is now taking your pillars from individual drills and then sequencing them throughout the throw from the front of the ring to the back of the circle so whether that's the glide the discus or the rotational shot now the core thing is it's what happens is some static drills now I'm not a personally a huge fan we do do some in our system at very specific points to, to teach specific things regarding a specific pillar but for the most part we're always concentrating on the fluid movement of the throw so the start is one of those big points and to get the motion moving right really dictates so much of the throw we refer to our pillar one is the trigger action in all the throws and pillar one is going to be big part of those mechanical positions our rhythm so if you don't set your rhythm right you're going to be losing a lot of distance and then that's going to change especially in competition so one of the core things that you want to understand the rhythm of the throw and that you focus on developing rhythm because when it comes time to competition that's what's going to set uh, strong consistent positions